There, chapter two. This is exactly where we want to be for the next part. So I was Detective talking Carnby. to him. God, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. And then the game Me? crashed. I think you're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly I upset. I love the music for this no, game. It's, I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. Ugh. And then here it crashed, I think? I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. <laughs> okay, don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Yay! Awesome. If a talisman okay. like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world. Mm -hmm. Like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Mm-hmm. Who broke this? Can I use the keys now? Ooh. Awesome. Repairing the boiler. I saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Okay. Be careful. Valve from the wine cellar. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you, ethereal voice. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Oh, uh, we've looked at the well, yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love the fact that the notes are red. Dr. So Elmore nice. Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dossetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta really Perosi, really? Grace Saunders, and, of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Hmm. Another key? Room key number six. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh, what do people say? How do you pronounce it? Lan Lanyap? I forget what it was. Lanye? Some people said it, but patient files. Cassandra Beauregard, the beloved author. Very exciting, isn't it? What do you want to put down for a reason for admission? What her agent told us. Cassandra suffers from a writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back and risks ruining her career. And how should we summarize her personal history? Let's keep it short. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. Oh no. And for diagnostic impressions? 
Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. She self-administers morphine to keep herself ambulant, but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind, and she is unable to focus on real life. To save herself from this insight, she instead makes up stories to fill out the gaps in her own thought process, mm. resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Oh, bravo, Doctor. How will you treat her? First of all, she needs to be weaned from her drug addiction, and hopefully it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Finally, deal with her suicidal thoughts. Fantastic. Mm. With such a short time Fantastic. before June, I really hope she gets better soon. We will do what we can. I really like the voice acting because it adds like just that little bit and then them being like, I'll do what we can. So cool. Grace Saunders, 11 years old. Reason for admission? <sighs> The mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. Personal history? Grace's family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. And diagnostic impressions? Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Any planned treatment? Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Thank you, Doctor. I'll finish the paperwork and get her installed. So it's Paul Waits and Dr. Gray talking to each other. Paul Waits is doing the administration and Gray is the doctor, chief doctor, talking about the patients. So she's in number eight. She's in number seven. Number one, Malcolm. Malcolm McCarthy, 54 years of age. Reason for admission? McCarthy admitted himself to Dossetto, stating simply that he needs some damn rest. <laughs> and personal history. McCarthy claims he used to work as a lawyer in Baton Rouge, but says he can't go into details because of some legal dispute. His background remains largely a mystery, except for the occasional clue that he drops in conversation. Mm. Huh. And diagnostic impressions? McCarthy is an anxious man and an alcoholic. He often tells half-truths due to some deep-seated inability to trust other people. And how will you treat that? McCarthy will take some time to open up. Spending time with Jack's dog or the child should be good for him. Their harmless nature will help build his sense of trust. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Ooh, room number six. So this is the room we got the key to. Elizabeth Perosi. Elizabeth Perosi, 33 years old? What should oh. I put down as reason for admission? She's two years younger well, than I am, but she looks Perosi quite a lot older in the picture. and was found wandering the grand parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. Right. What do you make of her story? Perosi claims to have been a member of the Astarte Artist Colony some 20 years ago. Astarte Artist Colony. A claim that colony. seems contrafactual due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is 33 years of age. She doesn't look to be 33 to me. That would make me. her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story is untrue. Deliberately so or not. How about 43? Diagnostic <laughs> impressions? Do you have anything? Perosi's story is peculiar because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Perosi. Oh. However, my staff's research has confirmed there was a Perosi at that time who was in her early 30s. I suppose this case will take travel? some time to investigate. How will you go about it? I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night. September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. Mm. I will have to take it slow and figure out what this spell of impersonation could have been. Oh, I'm sure it will all clear up eventually. Time Thank travel you, through Dr. a hurricane. Um, Ruth Talon, 
29 years of age. How long? Reason for admission? Uh, Ruth's father wishes that his daughter be removed from New Orleans nightlife for the foreseeable future. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. Sounds simple enough. Personal history? Ruth comes from considerable wealth. Her family owns several hotels and restaurants. Unlike the rest of the family, her sense of adventure has taken her around the world, including France during the Great War as a photojournalist. Uh -huh. The last decade, she has provoked many rumors of being a debauched flapper, bordering flapper. on nymphomania. And diagnostic impressions? Despite her father's frivolous reasons for her to be admitted, Ruth does seem to provide an interesting case. She is refreshingly open and doesn't shy away from talking about her life during the war or her continuous celebration after returning to the States. She is admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. Turns out she just and has a healthy libido player? for a woman. Simply staying <laughs> at Dosetto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least for her family's reputation. Ruth doesn't need to change, but with therapy, I might be able to share with her some sympathy towards her family. I doubt she will settle down and become as dull as the rest of them, but at least she might try to be more discreet in the future. Okay. Wait. Oh, that was six of six. I see. Interesting. It's all the patient files except for Jeremy's. All right. Where is his? Looks sturdy. Doubt I'll be opening this. Hmm. We need a time. Okay. Did I get everything? I think so. I need the key. Okay. Um, yeah, and we do have a map, right? Yes! Oh my god, gorgeous! Look at that! Got key items and puzzle icons. Perfect. Oh, that goes to Dr. Gray's office. We don't even want to be there. Let's go find room number six. I love how they dressed the... Like, it really looks like people sit here, read some glasses. Empty cups of tea, cookies. The only unrealistic thing is that no one would leave cookies, but... Where is room number seven? Or six? Batiste, Perosi, Grace's room, Cassandra's room, Jeremy Hartwood's room. Perosi? Oh, so upstairs, next to Batiste. Okay, up the stairs. To the left. Do I still have my gun? Oh yeah, I do. Can I reload it? No. Um, third room on the left. Cannibule. Nope. Cannibule. Ooh, cockroaches. Nice. Let's see what you've been up to, huh? What a wow. Strange, beautiful room. God, what a dream. I was I actually have been looking into or poster beds. Cause the idea of having a bed like that where you can close the curtains is so cozy, but it's really hard to find something like this that's, like, pre-made. You can get the bed without the curtains, kinda. But then you still have to find the curtains somewhere else. Oh! There's some aggressive-looking rot on these paintings. Ooh, you wanna make it match? I'm game. Now we just need to change the order of it? Did that do something? Oh, 
shoes. I thought it was blood. Blood? The Astarte Artist Colony. I'm pretty ah. sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. Wow. Okay. Established 1905. There she is, Elisabetta. How did she bring this painting with her? Oh, you I general. need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. Mm -hmm. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Okay. It says Aquarius is 1. So it's 1 to 12. Take a picture. Cozy bed. Music? Hmm, are these zodiac signs? Okay. So we need a three digit code. Ooh, that reflection. Whoa, that's funky. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows oh, these roads, knows. and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Hmm. Can't turn it the page or anything. Okay. Oh, this do did do something because I can't interact with it anymore. Oh, this must be the digits we need. How do we know which ones? Oh, wait. If it's 1, 10, 11, maybe it's just Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius is the answer. Probably not, but wavy M arrow. Try it. Wavy's not even in it. Okay. Hmm. Names on the rotten painting. Oh. Oh yeah, it shows three names. William Franklin. And Nora. William, two. Franklin, nine. And Nora, four. Two, nine, four. So, Pisces, Libra, and Taurus. Half moons? No. Hmm. Probably that one? Stam. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Broken plate. Nice. That's for the boiler. Okay. Does that mean I have everything? <gasps> oh. oh. Shit. What happened to this? So slimy. Ugh, don't hug it. Ew, 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 ew. What do I do? I can't jump. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Go, go, go. Whoa. What's that stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Dude, you are dirty. Back to normal. <laughs> Except for you. 
Ooh. This must be the clock mentioned in the commonplace book. This looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French Quarter, but it's broken and missing some pieces. Hmm, okay, so I need one more piece. Cool clock, it's so gorgeous. Okay. What is up with these statues? Hmm. Really? That's it? Mm hmm. I'm sure you have to look through it a certain way and then it'll show us something, maybe? I don't know. Let's check the map again. Uh, maybe we should have tried going into Batiste's room. Maybe now the hallway is back to normal. Hi. Anyone here? I'm just, I just want to go into this room. Wow. Cool. Decidedly more shabby than the patient room, but... What's that? Pen. Hmm, I only need one more for the lost children. Collectible. Did you guys see the custom skin you can get? To make them look like the 1992 game? It's amazing. It cracks me up. Okay. Um, says I still have stuff to do in Jeremy's room, but... Should we check out the mezzanine? Oh, I can't. Is it locked? Yep. Okay. Bart, I think. Powered as well. Okay. No mezzanine for now. Then Dr. Gray's apartment is on the other side of that uh clock. Hmm. Let's just see what we can find. I need the key. Okay. That needs a different key, so let's go back downstairs. Can't do anything here. Here we are. Could try the other patient rooms, see if that's open. I need the key. Oh. Batiste! <sighs> you were supposed to help me out here. Oh, do I have the library key? <laughs> the fuck was that? I do. Oh, you can see it on the the key icon or the icon on the door handle is the head of the key. Well, hello there. Hmm. Was this the sexy lady who likes sex? The sex lady who likes sex. <laughs> you know, as you do, sex. <laughs> I love how she's trying Good to be evening, so confident. She's covered in that dirt is and your mold. Name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. She's so dirty. Oh. Is that Perrick you're smoking? <laughs> How terribly quaint. Maybe so. But I like it. Would you care to share some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. Oh! Sensing some gayness. Hello there.
<laughs> Is it all that you hope for? I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. I can tell we'd make Too great bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Your insincerity is really refreshing. I wish you were mad as I am. Then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. <laughs> oh good. I'll be looking forward to it. You don't know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. <laughs> bon voyage. <laughs> well, she's cool. That went on a little too long, but... Now let's snoop. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Thierry Bricklow, 1917. Bricklow. Deseto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford $30. employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Tessetto kept a modest production of Paris tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. Mm. During the antebellum era, Dersetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. Is people who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. Does she smokes the On same June tobacco? 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Dersetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Hmm. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. I Their just realized was Pickford's left in model for several decades. Lovecraft. The ownership of the land was long right? disputed. And returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1, 1907, Inspector Legrasse of the police Legrasse. charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Dersetto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. There is again. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The 12 residing artists had all vanished without a trace. Vanished. The empty what mansion happened? of Dersetto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Um, that reminds me, I learned I was going through my Japanese notes again to try and actually. Oh, I knocked over the books. 
to actually try and remember some of the words. And there was one saying that goes, I think it was Shinso no Yabu. Shinso. No? Shinso wa Yabu no Naka. Which means um, the truth remains a mystery. But it made me laugh because literally it means Shinso, the truth, wa Yabu, in the bushes. No Naka. <laughs> so the truth is in the bushes. <laughs> it made me laugh. Ooh. Hmm. Can we get that? How do we open it? Shinso wa yabu no naka. I think it was. What happened to that painting? Someone tore it and no one did a thing about it. Oh, we figured it out. Oh, Jesus! Uh, uh, gotta go, gotta go. Jesus. There's something missing. 14729? Is there a key somewhere? gonna be so dirty by the end of this or do you think we're the only ones oh she did it I don't understand what's happening <laughs> I wouldn't either <laughs> where are we small parlor parlor drawing room maybe we should go see the drawing room first it's wet shut hmm La 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 Oh my god, we're back in the gorgeous room! Ugh, so cool. Um, conservatory. Where should I go? Emily felt surprised by how much she enjoyed the company of Ruth. Spoiler. There was something familiar and friendly about her. Like they were old mm. friends that simply forgot about each other. Oh, the well as well. I think the well is down here. I could have a look. Oh, hello. What you up to? Is that a dead cat? What are you doing sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. Mm. Do you know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetto is cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. <laughs> it's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Hartwood. I really mean that. Gumbo. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gumbo. My gumbo. Okay, bye, gumbo lady. God, you just leave that cigarette there after she just buried something there? Seems a little disrespectful. Oh, she didn't even really do anything to it. That's not a good burial job. Well, if a cat is a cat! And you're just 
What pocket are you sticking that in? What's that? Garden hose? It's another piece of broken plate. Uh-huh. Can't we just... No. Couldn't really stick the hose in there, can we? It would be too big to fill up as well. Oh, there it goes though. Let's follow the hose. There's the cat again. Alone. In the dark. Okay, that didn't really do anything. <laughs> Run their water bill. Yeah, just leave it. Oh, I do have bolt cutters for this though. Nice. It worked. More hose. Oh, extension. Now what's this? A hose. Wow, that is some good water pressure they got. There we go. Thank you. Um, I guess that takes us back to the clock tower. Clock tower. The clock. Then we can go back through the library. Yeah. Oh, now the puzzle icon's green. See that? So it means we can solve it. That's nice. I love the little markings like that. Yeah, let's go through the library. I have been to the boiler room, but it was before I was supposed to be there, so I think it might have been... Uh, oh wait, other door. Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, I can't even do this one. Me. <laughs> this way. I'm back. She's gone. Sexy lady's gone. Okay, back through the... Oh, wait, what am I... To my left? Ah, there is a door. <sighs> and then upstairs. That little icon that shows up the camera is the autosave, so it's nice to see it pop up again and again. So even if it crashes, you don't really lose anything. I think I've seen this somewhere. Okay. Can I turn them all? Okay, the middle piece is static. Cool, 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 cool. that look good? Kinda. Now, what do we do with the corners? Oh, this one has... Oh, this one goes. Oh no. That doesn't seem to... I thought maybe that little corner on the there right... There was something in the commonplace book about this. Really? No, that definitely is better, but... That one should not be in the top left. That doesn't look right anywhere. Um, let me check the book she mentioned. The housekeeper. So it's like two down left and two to the right. Let me just take a picture for reference. Oh yeah, I totally got it wrong. There, that's better. Yeah. The corner doesn't seem right though. But what else am I gonna put there? Hmm. 
this one goes here. It's like the start of the swirl. You can see the line coming in. Um, maybe this one goes here then? Yeah. Nice! Did it break? The clock just stopped. Did we take a picture of that too? Oh, there's nothing I can do with it. What is this stopped on? Three, six, six, four? Or six, four, three, big to small, maybe? What do we do with that code? It also still has... <gasps> oh! I was gonna say, it still has something we can do. the other way around again. No? Okay, wait. Uh, small one is three. So this one should be three. Then middle one is four. And then six. It's oh, that's the end of the hallway. Something. That's just the hallway outside Jeremy's room, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's right here. What are we gonna do here? Should we check? <gasps> I was just. Should I go in the room or go further down the hall? Oh, yes! That is so cool! Head. Oh! did it. I opened up another dream. Damn. Also, I totally forgot we were actually with the... What was his name? Carnsby? I forgot Carnsby was in game. <laughs> Dude, that is so badass. Oh yeah, wasn't that the file we read? The mound, the hateful mound outside <laughs> the oil, oil rig? Can we go there? Probably not. Too big. Wow, look at that. That is so badass! It's cool that we can go to entirely new areas like that. Ooh, I'm in. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hopwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. <laughs> Thursday. Mr. Hartwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hartwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. The bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. <laughs> hmm. uh. Creepy. Bullet? I would like some bullets, please. I have long arms. here okay check the back door Ooh. I need the key okay take that door <laughs> the barn is doing like a surprise face yeah oh 
<laughs> Ooh, what's up there? Can we climb this? Nope. It's just for atmosphere. Oh no. Items can be thrown at enemies. Where's where's the enemies? Locked. Don't tell me that. Oh. I got one. I wish you could put it down though. Can I cancel my throw? I don't think so. Dude. Okay, well, that's fucked. Wait! Hmm, there's something missing. A crank? Darkness. Bully! Okay, now we're definitely fighting. Jetty key. Mm. Mm. Ah, sweet. I unlocked it. Bully. Now there's going to be an enemy, isn't there? <laughs> Where he at? When is it happening? <sighs> the anticipation is killing me. Oh! I think he's coming. No, he's not. There's so many. I don't like this. No, thank you. Bridge lever. Nice. Ah, oh, here we go. What was that sound? Oh, I'm full of drink. Gunk. <sighs> I can hear it. Don't like it. Oh, a weapon. Oh, nice. Now I have a weapon if I run out of... Bule? How do I use the melee weapon, though? <clears throat> what is that sound? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus! Oh. Yeah. Ah. Drink. Drink up. You think we got him? No, we didn't. Uh, 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 get on the thing, get on the thing, get on the thing. <sighs> okay. Where did he go? Where is he? Oh, there's another one there. Okay. Let's get the shit out of me. It worked. <gasps> Keep going. Thought it was gonna plunge me in the water with all the zombies. <sighs> Can we go back to the puzzles? The puzzles are really fun. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. You better run, cockroaches. Wait, another pipe? Is it like a one-time use thing? Then how do I... It didn't tell me how to use it, right? There you go. Found out. If they come too close, I'll do a BAM! I don't like all these sounds. Hey, painter's palette. Hmm. The hardwood curse. Now what's this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Whoa, what was that? Ah, you're dead. You broke your spine for sure. <laughs> Oh god. Right in the fucking head! Ooh! What's that? Hit him! <laughs> Come at me! Okay. Did I kill him? Are we good? Ooh, an axe! I mean business. Oh, a paddle? I can use the paddle too? <laughs> Maybe it's better? Mm, probably the hatchet is best. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Ooh, no, I was joking. I was only joking. I didn't mean it. Don't you dare dive under. No, 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 no. Oh, I got his arm. Do you see that? The arm fell off. Dude, you are so gnarly. Creepy. Making me sweat. I can break this. I just need something to hit it with. <laughs> go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Just go. Go in here. You'll be safe. I hope. Okay. Molotov there. Ule. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing here? This is my safe space. You're not allowed. Where did he come from? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. A lot of things are wriggling outside. Sounds really big, I don't like it. Whoa, it's the oil rig. I don't like being on the dirt anymore. Oh, music. Anybody home? Uh oh. Go, go, go. I don't know what it was, but I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I have a hatchet. Ah! Get the fuck out of here. Oh, he's like, I can do that too, you know? Oh my god. I took his head off. Ule, please. What's that? Oh, that's, uh, that's the other one. Yeah, with the cat. 
hopefully. Nice. Oh, that's something I can throw. Oh, it's a rock. Who's in here? Hmm. Hmm. Anyone want to attack me? Don't be in the locker. Okay, thank you. If something popped out of that locker, I probably would have gotten a heart attack right about now. I could sneak. Oh, I should check the shed though. Ooh. Do the underground things not find me if I sneak? Loose items can be thrown to distract enemies. Okay. Oh no, that didn't work at all. That didn't work. Where did you come from? Where did I throw that? Okay, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oof. Oh, he coming. Oh, he coming. No, 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 no. He hit me? What? Dude, I was so far around you. Time to go, time to go, time to go. Sneaking has failed. I am now no longer sneaking. Oh. Thank you. I am running. I am running. Damn it, there has to be a way to get to the other side. Oh, he's still following me. He's still going. Ah. Jesus, dude, you're so quick. This game is not easy. That was a good shot. Good job, me. Oh, Jesus, he already found me. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? Oh, there's another one. Does he know where I am? Oh, Jesus, he does. Jesus. Okay, is everything dead now? I think it is. I think everything's dead. Oi. That was just pure panic. Oh, I shut down the tower? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shit. Ah. Go up, go up, go up. Is 
this doesn't seem like the best idea. Yeah. <sighs> the world's on fire. How about yours? Now what? Yeah, what did you think was gonna happen? What is that? A tough cloth. Okay. Oh no! Just look down, Emily. Do 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 Girl, you just did that. Now listen to the smooth jazz. Do I need to heal? No, I'm good. We're back in the bayou. Look to your right and you'll see Sherlock Holmes and his dear Watson in a little boat. The fuck is that? I don't like that. Time to go. I hear growling, I don't like it. <gasps> that is so much bigger than I thought! What am I gonna do? Okay, my earphones just went to like left ear only for a bit, but... Dude, I don't like that. Should we just run? Eat those dead bodies, please. Thanks. I'm not tasty, I swear. It's the hateful mound Jeremy mentioned in his book. Let's go anywhere but, but here. <laughs> How bad could it be? Compared to the big ass monster we just saw. You do have a flashlight though, why are you not using it? Oh, there's a flashlight there too. Well, that's one of the figurines we found. Jeremy, <laughs> you dropped your- <gasps> Oh, is that- Batiste's sister? Marcus? Get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? <sighs> Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Miss Tabois. Tabois, that was I it. met your brother Batiste earlier. <sighs> I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get the tarot away. <laughs> She's just still conked out on the floor. <laughs> Fine, believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. Mm -mm. We have to leave before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. <sighs> Too late. Wow. Did you have oh, the bag? God. Yes. Wait, what happened to Batiste's sister though? Is she okay? <sighs> Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. I'm back at Dorsetto. Hmm. Find Jeremy's bag. Pellet knife. Intended for painting, but thin enough to slide through the crack of a door. Ooh. That's all we're taking from that? Oh, I was gonna say, what about the book? Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts by Juan Luis Jorge. Juan. To act is in itself divine. <sighs> I'm so sore. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence <sighs> of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. 
our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice divinity. of leaving the stage where we all perform. One moment. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Okay, dude. Sitting room key. Someone said the painting was the one I came from. Hmm. Don't think so. But that would have been cool. Sure, you don't want to open this? Mm. <laughs> it's looking really enticing. Oh, this is drawing room. Oh, right. It's wet shut. It worked. Nice. <sighs> so what was it? Was it just a piece of paper? The Barlow lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, Get simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Magnificent magnification. A key. Cellar key. Nice. A doggo? Hey, I got one. My first set. Unlocks the shotgun cabinet. <gasps> Yay. What's this? Awesome. Bully. Plus three. What is plus in French? Not that boule is accurate French at all, but... Soin is without, right? Or something like that. Shotgun time. Oh yeah, it's open. Nice. Now this'll come in handy. Hell yeah. Awesome. How do I equip it? Right grabs the... That. Oh, down. Oh, there's more in the drawing room. So pink. Le boom. <laughs> plus. So, boule, plus toi. <laughs> totally incorrect, <laughs> but. I don't have everything I need. Oh, okay. So that's probably why. Oh, now at least we have a puzzle icon on the map. That's good. What is bullet in French? Bullets. It's obviously not boule. I'm just joking when I say that, but... Ooh, what was she reading? Ah. Bal? Do you just say bal? Bal plus toi. It's so blocked. Why is this locked? Oh, blocked? Ooh. What is that? What's on the other side? Since when is that blocked? Hmm. No! Ah! Jesus! Run! Fuck! Ah, I don't have any bullets! Yeah. Ah, get out of me! Ah! I gotta hit two, you know! Ah! 
I almost died. Jesus. These scares come out of nowhere. I'm not ready. Now you give me shotgun bullets. Thanks. Ooh, pickaxe. Damn. Uh, reload that. That looks accurate. Okay, I'm out of healing. I like how the melee is just like, I'm in a corner. I'm scared. R1, R1, R1. <laughs> Could have probably lit them on fire. Dang it. Am I back to normal? Man. Why does the game okay. do that to me? That wasn't so bad. That was awful. What are you talking about? Where do I need to go? Cellar key? Uh, let the me see. What do I have? Sitting room and cellar. Oh, sitting room is there by the gallery. Should be here. Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. I'll even let's play with my jackknife. Oh, good evening. <laughs> you haven't <laughs> seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you would have known if you did. The only kid crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? It's not like she has a choice. <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. She's very hard to pin down, that one. You want to see up? I'm good, thank you. Well, I've been I drinking be a ton there. already. <clears throat> Unless there's anything you need from me. No, thank you. I just want to find my uncle before anything happens to him. Get out of here. Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> he is much too lily-livered to kill himself. Why would he? <laughs> it's his greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. Weirdo. Yeah. Weirdo. What was it that they called it again? The Dark Jazz? Remember when we watched that video about the music? Ooh. Hmm, there's France. something missing. Back in France. Speak it away. Of all the countries. <laughs> and I was just saying. <laughs> France has left the building. Is that a look? This must be the great Cassandra Beauregard's room. Mm. I'm not sure what I expected. Maybe something more extravagant? What's that? Oh, there's the the mark again. I need something else. Two medicine bottles. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. Lottie's As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. Okay. There's the other one. Oh, is this the morphine lady? Oh. I think I've seen this somewhere. Yeah. Do we need a new set of names? Dates? Persons? Oh, it might be with this then. I'm not sure I have everything I need. No, you don't. Okay. Let me see, where am I? Oh, wasn't Cassandra's room where we started in the demo? Is the bathroom here? I think so. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Uh-oh. Don't like that. Keep worrying now, the game's gonna like transport me somewhere. So this, this is Grace's room. room. Yeah. Cute.
Don't do it. Don't send me to another dimension. Hmm. Okay. Don't you worry, quest. Grace. Go play your game. Bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. Hmm. With love, Ruth. Beautiful handwriting. Is that it? Okay. We do have the cellar key as well. We need to get into Lottie's room. I have seen Lottie's room. Yeah, there it is. We should be able to get there. Back downstairs. Uh, oh. Was that rot always around the clock? Hmm. Looks pretty bad. Seems like you got a serious mold problem. Nighty isn't it? The medicine. And your key. But wasn't Lottie the one that we saw in the other... Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's the lady who was just burying the mummified cat? Okay. The so... We should try the cellar, probably. Food, wine, and cellar. Past the stairs? <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> the boiler room. Yeah. Boiler room we checked out, but we need some items for that, I think. So we have the key for here. I did check around here before. See what we got. <laughs> I'm ready. Circuit box. Uh oh. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh, okay. It turned I guess power off. this works too. Oh, uh, I short circuited everything. Oh yeah, I need that valve for the boiler, right? Okay, I think that's it. Now let's get out of here as fast as we can. No, wait, I had a pickaxe. That's much better. Who wants some? Ooh, I was joking. I was joking. I don't want some. Yes! Get fucked. Headshot, dude. Right in the fucking head. Should I look in here? Oh, this is the boiler room. Low health, yeah, and no healing either. I'm pretty bad at this game. <laughs> but it's fun. Jeremy? Oh! You've been here this whole time? He's not actually here, is he? <gasps> what the Ooh. Hell that? Don't explode. Oh. What? What is that? There was a dead body. Broken plate. Be in here. Did I just imagine that? Is there anything else we can get? Is the plate for the boiler? Is 
Did I read that already? You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win, because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? Mm. I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. <sighs> Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Okay. Cassandra's room. It's another one of those plates for the talisman. It's also hmm. broken and missing some pieces. Well, let's go back up and see if we can get to her room. Without any incident. Cassandra. Oh, the room we were just in. Up the stairs. Savage little girl. Yeah, she don't give a fuck. I wonder if she's tainted by the stuff that's happening. Big house, big place. Oh yeah, it is there. So we need the medicine bottle, but how do we get in there? How do we get in that box? I don't have a key, do I? Um, no, no keys anymore. The boiler seemed unremarkable, except for the broken decorative plating Find on the, the side. Find the key to the medicine box. It looked similar to the ritual bench that Emily used in Miss Jackson's place to open the door leading back to DeSetto. Emily wondered why it was broken and if it had been deliberately sabotaged. If so, why? Emily figured she would find out later and... Okay. Where? If you were a key of Lottie's, where would you be? Is Lottie the lady we saw burying the dead cat? Well, we have the patient files. Yeah, Cassandra's upset I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication. Oh, I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured it had we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Uh, I think Jack knew something. Dog of his found a strange rot in the house. Inside the grand parlor. Oh, there's the grand parlor. How do we get there? We don't have a key for that. Stairwell maybe on the other side? Through the mezzanine? Oh, the servant stairs? Oh, maybe we can just get it get there through there. Uh This way. Aha, it's wet shut. Ah. Uh, it worked. Ah. We're in. Yes. So you see, I would like some alcohol. Thank you. How is my health? Oh, yeah. There, that's better. Gloonk. Um. Ah, this that icon is that it's locked on the other side. Oh, I see. Great. There we go. Oh, Whoa. wow. That's a shame, but wow. Cool. Should be another lock we can open from this side here. 
I will gladly take the ball. <laughs> A binet! I want to try one. I've never had one. Cool. Now those two are open. That's great. Now we just have to go to the stairwell and make it downstairs. Donuts are better. I do like myself a donut. Whoa. Is that how they would get patients up and down? That's scary. Let's go to the attic. It's probably locked anyway. Someone is back there. But it's not for me to know just yet. Whee! Down we go! Oh, what's going on here? I need Locked the key. Door. Hmm. I need the key. You shouldn't be playing around in an area like this. Do you teach piano as well? <laughs> huh? You're a governess. Did you teach those clawing Casano kids how to play the piano? <laughs> a little accent. How do you know about that? Just because grown-ups don't notice children doesn't mean we don't notice you. She's creepy. Yes. I taught them some piano. Are you any good at it? Not good enough to play a broken one. It fell from the attic. Brought half the ceiling down. Wow. It was Jeremy's fault, wasn't it? Nobody knows what happened. You're not wrong. Hmm. What the fuck? What are you doing? Excuse me? Okay, she is definitely fucked up. What did she use? Oh, hey, I got a cool thing. Forbidden knowledge. Hmm. I got a full set, but I don't know what forbidden knowledge does. Oh, a key. Nice. Okay, it's still red, so there's more to get here. Yes. Shotgun shells, very nice. Is that it? Nope. Oh, that was it. Okay, great. You should press X on forbidden knowledge. It'll show more. Ah. As the world moved into the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name for poverty also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy was of course no such victim for he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on his threshold very well. It wasn't new. It was something that had always been with him. Oh, I could have actually... As the world moved into the new decade... 
done that as well, but now I already read it. Still though, what does it give me then? Not a shotgun. Cool, 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 cool. There's gotta be Ugh. something here. There is more of that unsettling rock. On the common place of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science wow. so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin. It is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. <laughs> she said the thing! Uh, Nora, that's one of the patients here. Cool, that's done. Wait, it says the dining room is barred from the other side. Have we not tried opening that? I've, I haven't tried the door, that's why. I can open it from this side. Sweet. Okay. Lottie's room. We have the key. Cool. Now we go to Ruth's room. Baby, a Ruth. Can I turn them as well? Good enough? Let's write this down. Two, five, seven. <sighs> Let me see. Two, five, seven would be Pisces. This one. Three, four, five, Gemini, seven, Leo. Hey, like a glove. Awesome. Um, it was here. Oh, I thought it was, maybe it was this one. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little puzzle, shall we? I feel like it should go like that. Hmm. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. Hmm, maybe. Could be that too, though. Ooh, that looks good. Those two together. Um, do we have another field? That doesn't really look like it matches. Oh, we can't do the little corners this time. Oh, that's the bottom, for sure. That is not correct.
that looks good. Um, wait, do we have a number for the boiler? Find the talisman numbers hidden on the boiler. Hmm. Oh, seven, five, nine. Oh, big one, nine, nine, seven, five. Okay, that's the other. Talisman is showing another room. Yeah. Something is open. That's where we got the valve. Where the power was out. Cool. I didn't open that. What happened? Oh no. Grab the shotgun. Oh! No. Where did it take me this time? Uh oh. It worked. I'm in another one of Jeremy's dreams. Oh dear lord. Val. Ammo in Japanese again. Jew is gone. Tama? I think Tama. Which literally also means ball. Oh, hello, m'lady! Don't mind me. I should probably save the shotgun for when there's multiple enemies and I feel overwhelmed. Spooky, spooky. I don't like it. It's been a while since I visited the family tomb. I hope it's this is the family tomb? The real world. Oh, right. He did say he went to see his brother's grave or something, didn't he? Jeremy? Yeah. I'll be taking that. Rustic plate adorned with lost, alleg lost allegory. What's this? Okay. Can you put it on that? What's that for? There we go. Oh, it worked. Is that another pickaxe? Oh, it's a sledgehammer. Ho 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 ho. <gasps> Calm the mommy. I was joking. I was joking. Oh god, what are you? Oh, it's the dude from the... Ah! Whoa. Dude. Oh, he hurts. <sighs> Jesus. It was a dude from the first, um... The first time we traveled. <sighs> now you show me. Okay. There's fire there. Molotov. We see another enemy. We can run back. This is the chapel in Jeremy's book. It looks like I need more medallions to open it. Hmm, okay, we need three. I'm not sure I have everything I need. No, I'm not so sure either. Heck off, crows. Do I get a map of this place? No. Me. Your map is of no use here. They're coming to get you, Barbara. I should really get a hang of stealth, shouldn't I? Instead of killing everything. Okay, there's a rock here. Oh, I think she can't stealth in here. Oh, Jesus! Did he not see me? 
How did he not see me? Okay, that doesn't do anything. You think I can just have him sneak by me? Now I am. Is that a shovel? Shit. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Like, how do I even react to that? You're so, like, immediately on me. Jesus! Like... I don't even have time to like turn around or anything. Go, go, go. Quicker. Come on. I just have to keep moving. I don't know where I'm going. But slow speed is key. Oh, no, it isn't. Go, 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 go! Faster! Must go faster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's hope they can't do it. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, try and get me now. <laughs> okay. Whew. Now I can use my flashlight. I don't know if flashlight matters with them, but... Okay. This is a big fighting arena. Okay. Molotovs. Healing. Bricks. I hear you. Okay. Let's have a look. So this is where we're gonna get the discs. Maybe. Why does it sound like they're sneaking up on me? I don't like it. Yee! Dude is so fast. Are you kidding me? Properly. They're too fast to run from. Okay. Do I have one? <laughs> Take that. What's that? Just a brick? Hmm. Don't like that. Hmm. Hmm. Don't like that at all. Hello? Dead person? Okay, 
least it's giving me bullets and stuff. How do you like that? Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! Quick, shotgun. Oh, another one. Nice! Get fucked. Okay, good. That was good. That was good. Very good. Good, good, good. Very good. This is nicht gut. <laughs> she keeps doing that. She sounds so chill. She's like, hmm. Like she just found a chocolate bar or something. At least that's what I would do. Hmm. How do I. Oh. That looks good. Doesn't it? Um, swap them? No, that's... Huh. Wait, why doesn't it work? She puts them in like that automatically. But the gold is on the bottom. Can we not just like... Swap them? Oh! How did I do that? There we go. <gasps> uh oh. Bones. There's a right. Nothing? Huh. Seemed like a hidden pathway to me, but I guess not. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, you're behind me! Oh god! Oh, so many! Holy shit! Ah, how am I supposed to go by him? Ah. Drink on the goat. Follow the torches. Convenient collapse. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Hey. Hello there, holy man. There we go. There we go. See, that's just me opening the fridge. There we go. <sighs> she too chill. <laughs> I'm here fighting for my life. She's having a donut. Ooh, pretty. What a cool shot. <sighs> I made it out. I sure did. Now which way? Is this where I came from? Okay. How do I know which one goes where? Hmm. How do you know which order they go? I can't look at the back. What makes sense? The goat. Goat should be on the bottom, right? Otherwise it's just upside down. This way it's right way up. So let's put you there right that's it otherwise they're not the right way up 
Cool, 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 cool. Oh, what are you doing here? Wasn't that the lady we saw in the library? The sexy one? Oh no, this might be the art group one. Who did not look 33. Time traveling hurricane. Emma, is that you? Jeremy. What are you actually are here? What are you doing here? Well, you sounded so miserable in your letter. I've come to take you away from here. I can't believe I made such a foolish mistake. All I wanted was for you to stay away. What do you mean? I bargained with the dark man. A pact to keep New Orleans safe with my own life as tribute. The dark man isn't real, Jeremy. There is nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? Yeah, you're saying as Are you're standing still in the cemetery. My words? Fine. Then let me help. Don't be foolish. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. Eternity. I don't care. I'll find a way. I have my own talisman, and I know about Tarawea. Oh, wait, 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 don't speak. Hmm? Who's in here? Show yourself. The you dark man. Is. He took your grandfather. No, I mean it. Who's in here? I can feel someone's in here. Ooh. <gasps> Is that the dog man? Emily. He's very light for a dark man. Mm. Tarawea. Why do you want to go there, Jeremy? Was she always there? Maybe we couldn't see her the first time we were in the room? Yalathothep could be. Oh, what a nice painting. I've seen letter. so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Tarawaya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. Was he writing this to me or to the lady in the bed? Jay Hartwood. Luggage key. Nice. I need to find out more about Jeremy's pack with the Dark Man. He meant to go to Tarawea. Maybe there is something there that would help. She was beautiful. I wonder what happened to her. Hmm. We must be close to chapter three, right? Wasn't this his room? No. The first one. Jeremy's room. All back to normal. There we go. The Barlow lens. Ooh. It's a telescope lens. Drawing room. Oh, why would he lock it in here? I'm hoping the music is peaceful because it's actually peaceful and we're safe right now. Um, The drawing room was... Where? There. Small parlor, library, plaza. Okay. I wonder if the whole group she was with disappeared because they were... Because they all went to a different dimension, like we've been dimension hopping. I could just get stuck on. Okay, I just zoom and focus. I don't know how I'm doing this. This looks good, right?
there. Oh. Ooh. What happened here? Oh. Oh, this is... We saw this in the book. Oh, it's also what we made in the... Wait, I can't rotate this? I don't think so. There. Nine, four, one. Or seven. Oh, she doing it. Wait, what's going on? It's entering the numbers by itself? Okay, uh, great, so where is that? Is it the dining room? Wait. Yeah, it's not here, is it? It looks like the dining room. There's something there that we can't see. I don't like it. Is it here? Ah, here we go. So what do we do here? Flowers? It was showing the flowers, but... Oh. Hello. Ah, there it is. Chapter 3. <sighs> is this Tarawaya? Maybe this is where the art group disappeared to. You should not have come, Emily. How do you know my name? Have we met? In a manner of speaking. As a manifestation of Yermi's deepest desires. Yermi? I am to you unfamiliar. Yet I know of you. Are you Jeremy? Is that what you're saying? I am only his subconscious thoughts. Ah. I cannot speak for his totality. So How can you have a Spanish accent? His safe space? And what is this place? Is this Tarawea? This is indeed the fabled convent of Tarawea. Ah. Where Yermi goes to find peace during his sessions with Dr. Gray. It's all fantasy then. Based on the things he has read and seen. And that includes mm. you? Yes. My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Yermi once read a book of mine. Yeah. It stuck with him. We've seen that name before. Can you help me break the pact with the Dark Man so we can leave Dorsetto? Yermi doesn't want you to. Yermi. He wants to honor his word to the Dark Man. Why? What's the point? I don't understand what the pact is for. The people of Derseto are calling upon evil to enter this world. Your uncle offered his soul to the Dark Man to contain this disaster. Why? I knew Derseto was evil. No, that doesn't make any sense. The pact will be fulfilled at dawn. As the sun rises, Yermi will forever be entombed in his sunken desert temple. As promised. The Dark Man shall quarantine and starve the evil inside their seto. What about all the patients and the staff? They will not stand the chance. That's unacceptable. How could Jeremy agree to this? Desperation, of course. Jeremy did not choose martyrdom lightly. I mean, just their seto or the whole well, world? Well, nothing is, is lost, lost yet. So. I'm sure I can find a way to break the pact and save Jeremy. And hopefully the people at their seto. What even is this evil you're talking about? I don't know much. I think some nightmarish entity from the bayou. I'll just have to deal with that later. First, I have to get Jeremy out of his deal. What? Did you run out of arguments? You're actually quite inspiring, Miss Emily. If we put Jeremy's feelings aside, I would have to say I agree with you. Really? You might just be able to save the old man from himself. I think you should take a look in the convent library. 
try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. Okay. You should know that you won't be alone in those grand halls. The Dark Man has been reading those books for years. He's here? He's a big you fantasy have to fan. Be very careful. Of course. I I can be careful. Good luck, Miss Emily. <laughs> Weird. I don't really like how she's she's just like she's like he has a he has a pact I don't like it I'm gonna like break the pact whatever like she doesn't care about any of the consequences she doesn't want to find out why he chose the pact it's like you should probably look into that a little bit like I, f I feel like it's or Deserto gets isolated or the whole world or New Orleans. He said he was protecting New Orleans, so that's probably something to do with that. At least we got a nice little chunk done. I'll look into like how far I got compared to other people. I feel like I'm, I'm probably a little slower because I let all the documents play out and I take my time, but maybe if we do one more like just alone in the dark long stream, we might be able to just finish it in one sesh. But I feel like I am a little bit of a slow player, so we'll see.